previously on Impact. Kazarian and Daniels were holding a secret over AJ Styles' head. Pictures hinted of an inappropriate relationship between AJ and Dixie Carter. A picture is worth a thousand words. AJ denied. Kazarian and Daniels revealed more dirt. There's affection and then there's passion. Joseph Park was looking for his brother who disappeared. You know. All clues pointed to Bully Ray, but Bully Ray blew off Park. Shove it. Joseph Park kept pushing for answers. Bully Ray warned Joseph Park. Stay away from me. Impact Wrestling begins now. Impact Wrestling, show 734. Tape date, 5-15-12. Air date, 5-24-12. Any of you guys know what this is? It's the show format. This is what makes Impact Wrestling work or maybe not work. Open fight night has kind of opened everyone's eyes. And this week on Open Fight Night, we're gonna have a lot more changes than even I expected. I want you guys to take a look at this. This is what goes on in that creative meeting earlier in the day. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. But that's what's supposed to happen on the show tonight. A lot of people love that old stuff. A lot of people are voicing their opinions on how much they love the, the few little changes we've started. Bully, are you OK with that? Yeah, I'm fine with it. OK. Whatever you want to do, you're the boss, right? Yes, sir. So what's, what's this uh, four, four men? Well, that's what we're supposed to do now. This is, you know, if you read it straight off the top. Hogan resonates with the premise of open fight night, where anybody can challenge anybody. Anybody can call anybody out, and you have to fight, and there's going to be a guaranteed title match. All four men, which are all four of you guys, I start to grill you guys. And then eventually, I figure out a game plan, which doesn't work anymore. So we're opening this thing up to an open forum. We've got a situation with Rude who's on the verge of becoming the longest reigning Impact champion ever. Once he defends his title here at Open Fight Night, if he wins, he becomes, you know, what I would consider the greatest champion ever here at TNA Impact Wrestling. The record is now held by this man right here, AJ Styles, who's made a huge imprint and- What, been... what importance is that? What importance is what? The well? longest reigning champion. It's important to me. Well, it's I mean, important I, I, to the fans. It's important to, you know, the nostalgia of the way this business uh, is. I guess, I guess how many times you win it. Oh, yeah, that matters, well, I guess, what, What's so important about being a gold medalist? I mean, Are you no. serious? I'm just saying. No, I'm a gold just putting medalist. medalist. At least give him credit. Was I talking position. to you? I don't care. Shut He's up. still a gold medalist. I'm just trying to tell you that it's important to me just as much as that gold medal is important to you. All right. Yeah, I'm not saying right. it's not important, Kurt. No, it's all right. right. important. I understand. I'm just I'm just saying it's important to me. That's your opinion. You know, these guys laid the groundwork. And then people started piling on over the years. You know, and I don't know the sequence of how it happened. I'm sure you probably do. But people came along, you know, from AJ to Bully to Kurt Angle to Jeff Hardy to Hulk Hogan stumbling on the bandwagon. And all this momentum is pushing us into a fast forward situation that these normal formats, these normal ways we produce wrestling, these normal ways we do shows don't work anymore now it's changing why should you you know try to break this role that roots on because i've won more titles than anybody else in this room singles titles it's a singles match i'm just saying you said you won more titles singles titles be more specific the impact titles tna yes, titles is that what you're talking about because that's, no, yeah. that's the only ones i recognize here all right so Boy. you want us to no, no, I'm convince at, I'm, you? Yeah, convince I me. I need to convince you. Convince me. Why I should face Bobby Roode. Convince me, a guy that's won more tag titles than anybody, who's always been a team player, who just as of late recently has broken out and become a, a main event singles competitor, a guy that's never won the big one, a guy that's never been the world's heavyweight champion, everybody else in here has, convince me why you deserve a shot. Let me ask you a question. You are the be-all and end-all of our business. 
I'm putting you over right now. I'm telling you that when it comes to pro wrestling, Hulk Hogan is number one. I've been around for 20 years. I'm not a slouch. Why do I have to convince you why I should face Bobby Roode for the World Heavyweight title? You know that when you look at the four of us, I remind you more of those guys that you went to war with back in the day than anybody here. I'm the most legit guy. I'm not taking anything away from these guys, okay? They're all tough, but I'm the most legit. You know people fear me for a straight up shoot. You know people walk the other way when I walk in a room. And I could even intimidate you, Hogan, if I wanted to. But I got respect for you. I'm not gonna sit here and flap my gums about why. You know why. Is that true? Kurt, is that true? Is he the most intimidating guy in here? I don't believe so. I'll tell you what, you why, why don't you intimidate me? Kurt, I just gave you respect before, okay? I could intimidate you if I want. I've intimidated you in the ring before. I haven't backed down from you. As a matter of fact, you'd probably admit that I'm the hardest hunting, hardest hitting son of a you've ever been in the ring with. And you're the most talented guy I've ever been in the ring with. AJ, why do you deserve the shot at Bobby Roode? Do you think you know Bobby inside and out better than anybody just because you guys used to be friends? Bobby's been here a long time. So have I. I've been here longer. You know that. This is all about, for me, it's about ending his streak. I don't want him to become the longest reigning world heavyweight champion in TNA history. I want that for me. It's selfish, but it, yeah, yeah, it's selfish. I don't, I don't care. I want it. So it's I all about AJ. It. Right now, I recall, right what, now, hap what about, happened with the last match me. that we wrestled? Who won? You did, Kurt. Right. You beat me. So who deserves it right now? You want to be the man? You, you, oh, you think just because, and I wasn't going to bring it up, and you know that. You asked me, and I didn't bring it up. But if you want to depend on Chris and Frankie to help you out, then you go you right ahead. You told me straight up. I said I didn't want to talk about it, Kurt. And then no, you no, bring no, it no, up. No, you told just, me that. Can I just bring something up here? Your plan is working perfectly right now, isn't it? Your plan is working perfectly. You just sit there, you don't say a word, and you let us argue amongst each other, right? Exactly. Working perfectly. Let the fans decide. You think you deserve a shot at the title because you're Jeff Hardy, because everybody loves Jeff Hardy? Really? Yeah, yeah it works for me. Your son loves me. What, I, what I respect what, you more than anybody in the company. What do you want? What do you want? Everybody in here has potential to stop this thing with Bobby Roode. Now, Bobby Roode is not a bad thing because as bad as Bobby Roode may want to be and as much as the fans hate him, you have to see the good in Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode has locked this company down and he's been a constant so that we can go and explore other avenues and give other people chances and do open fight night and gut check. There's a lot of things that are good about Bobby Roode being champion, but it's to the point now where he's starting to control the pace of this company. That's why he has to be stopped. He's smart. We all know that. Well, of course he is, but he has to be stopped. So that's why I think you can beat him. That's why I think you can beat him. I think you can beat him, Jeff. And boy, I know that you can beat him. But for one simple reason, one simple reason, you haven't won the big one yet. You've only been a single main event guy for a year. I'm gonna eliminate you, Bully. You're not gonna get the shot. That's your final decision? That's it, brother. You're done. You think that's the right decision? Feels right. Do you think in your heart that it's the right decision? Yeah. Yeah. Eric was right about you.
On an open fight night when Bobby Roode will attempt to set the record. As the longest reigning world heavyweight champion in TNA history, we open Impact Wrestling with the appearance of, as Taz just said, the Knockouts champion, Gail Kim. Yes, Gail. Looks like she, uh, her face. She looks like she's all business right here. How about that blockbuster news, huh? Bully Ray out of the running by the Hulkster. Kim is good. Actually, correction, being Gail Kim is great. Not only am I the current TNA Knockouts Champion, but I am also the most dominant TNA Knockouts Champion in the history of this company. The history! people, that's a really long time, okay? Listen, I built this division. Actually, I am this division. Everything revolves around me. I would go as far as saying that I'm the most important woman in this company. one blemish on my resume. One that I have a big problem with. And that's the fact that the Knockouts Tag Team titles are being represented by a man and that, that so-called woman. So, in honor of fight night, I am going to take this opportunity, me, the greatest TNA knockout champion of all time, and Madison Rain. Madison, hey, pay attention. This is about the match, not the guy. Like I was saying, I'm gonna take this opportunity to call out Mr. and Mrs. ODB. disparaging comments from our Knockouts champion, Gail Kim, directed towards the Knockout Tag Team Champions, Eric Young, ODB, the Newlyweds, and this is the team that defeated Gail Kim and Madison Rain back in March to win those Knockouts Tag Team titles. And obviously our Knockouts champion, Gail Kim, uh, kind of humiliated and embarrassed that there is a man in Eric Young that, that holds one half the Knockout titles, as we just heard, but I found it funny that she called them Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> ODB. That's apropos. Well, I guess if you're a wrestling purist, you may have a problem with Eric Young as one half of the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Yeah, but if, you're, the, listen, if you're, the, you're a wrestling purist, you might cringe at this match. <laughs> but Eric Young tagging up with his wife well, here. In, in terms of entertainment, top EY and ODB. No, you can't. I agree with that completely. And Eric Young is gonna start off here against the Knockouts champion, Gail Kim. What an open fight night broadcast this is gonna be this week on Impact Wrestling. Just one week before we make our big move to 8 p.m. next Thursday night. You know we're going live. Yeah, I can't wait. Listen, I can't wait. There's, there's a certain energy that comes when you're live, and that's gonna come <laughs> 8 p.m. Eastern next week right here on Spike TV. Right here, right here, you see the gal Kim. She's bringing it. So a man who's much bigger than her, there's a man in Eric Young. I heard a nice reversal though. Yeah, how about this? EY back with the side headlock and, and Gail Kim using the knees to take over and take control here against Eric Young. How yeah, about well, that? Uh, well, uh, look at that switch there, standing switch by Eric and uh, Eric showing that uh, grizzly bear-like strength with a girl that's 110 you know, pounds. <laughs> well, I mean, he's, he's, he's put in this situation. What are you going to do? 
Yeah, well, you're gonna fight, I guess, if your wife, you don't, your wife's gonna beat you up, and that's his <laughs> wife right there, ODB. Laying in those forearm shots to the knockout chip, and he just overpowers Gail Kim. The power here coming right here. Oh, that's the bam. Fall away slam from ODB quickly up to her feet, and the knockout's tag team champion. Eric Young, ODB in control. We'll have more of this open fight night matchup right after this.